Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. You can see from this box that it's got just about everything for the outdoor adventure. Check it out. It's it's got GPS, it's got a compass, it's got barometer. Oh my goodness. And it tells time. What do you know, huh? Let's take a look at it. Also, it turns out price-wise, as you're about to see, it's uh, about half of what similar types of watches cost that do all of this. So that's definitely something to consider. It's a bakey product, and it's called the M7. Ooh, look at that puppy. Wow, wow. All right, here you go. The M7 GPS and GLONASS and Baidao, those are all different uh, positioning systems throughout the world. So it pretty much makes this usable for uh, location services anywhere. GPS, of course, is common in most of them that have any kind of uh, location chip in them. Compass, altimeter, barometer, outdoor watch, got heart rate, blood pressure. Wow, what else could you need? <laughs> 56 bucks or so. Check the show notes for a discount coupon. Now, there are a couple of things to consider that might make the reason why the price is a little bit lower. We'll hit those as we go through. First of all, Bluetooth. It's doing four and three. Uh, not really um, the Bluetooth 5 that we'd like to see. It does support Bluetooth calling as part of it, but of course that's going to be at a little bit lower Bluetooth, so the range won't be quite as far, and so forth. That would, the 4 was good, uh, 5 would be better, but it's more expensive, of course. You've got um, Smart Time as a tethering app on this one, all these different languages supported, and this is weird. This is really weird. Look at the waterproofing, IP65. That kind of means, you know, don't splash much more than washing your hands. But this is an outdoor watch. Now, I looked through all the product literature, and there's nothing saying it's IP68 or 3ATM or 5ATM. I would expect at least 3ATM on a watch like this. That means it would be able to go underwater and stay underwater for up to uh, three times uh uh, three feet, what, uh, 15, 50, 50, 30, 30 yards, something like that. Anyway, a long way, uh, but it's not. It's declaring IP65, so a little bit on the Bluetooth, a little bit on waterproofness, but if that's not a big deal for you, you can save some bucks and get a really nice uh, compass, altimeter, barometer, hiking kind of outdoorsy watch. You have all these other activities that are supported, definitely GPS, compass, and so forth. Geomagnetism, of course, that's for the compass, speedometers in it, and Bluetooth calling is supported, so it's got a mic and a speaker and all of that stuff. And there's the sensors, and the overall screen is a 1.3 inch IPS 240 by 240, so not super sharp, uh, but should get the job done. Battery, about three days of um, use time, two hours to charge it, and so forth. Let's dive in. Here it is, and it's got a really nice band to it. It's one of those two-tone TPU style with tons of holes breathable definitely good for workout exercise the back is nice looks sealed you've got your heart rate thing here connectors recessed for the charger so they're not right against your skin that's great looks like a microphone hole over here here's the speaker on the side so when it's down it's still going to be able to uh to come out you'll still be able to hear it That'll be on your right-hand side this way. So if you bring it up to your ear, your ear is going to be right next to it. Good design. Okay, we got a little cover over here that we can take off. Bright silver bezel with lots of etching on it. And it does say tachometer and power and back. Okay, okay. inside we have a charging clip on this one. It's not a magnetic uh, charger, as you can tell, because it's recessed, right? So for this, you have the matching pins in the curve, and you're going to want to line them up and place it over there. Ta-da! And I missed it. So you got to be careful. Make sure you look at it this way. Get them lined up. Get it locked in there. Plug it into charger, which we will do here shortly, and uh, then then you can play with it. And the last thing is our manual, Chinese, English, 
English is at the beginning. We're going to page through it like we always do. That way you can freeze frame it if you uh, want to see what, um, what you need to see. Here's a QR code for downloading Smart Time Pro or check the show notes in the, uh, in the link below uh, the video here. Uh, and you can head right over to the Google Play Store and download it directly. Uh, the app goes into your phone, obviously. And your Bluetooth calling will be tethered to your phone the same way you would tether earbuds to your phone. So you're going to be connecting Bluetooth two, two different ways. This is true for all of your watches that uh, support Bluetooth calling. It's separate, the Bluetooth connection for tethering the app to transfer over your, your data, uh, hiking data and heart rate and whatnot, and then it's a different tethering for doing the Bluetooth calling. This is good, good little manual, lots of different things in here. And we're into a different language. Okay, well, we'll be right back, get it all charged up. So when we press the button, we gotta wait a little while for this one to boot up. And uh, first thing it's gonna do, after telling you it's a smartwatch, is show you the available languages that are in here. English is selected by default, but all these other languages are supported. Come back up here. We'll pick our English and move to the watch face immediately. Heads you uh, straight to the watch face where you can go in and do all the different things that the device will do. So from this perspective, you see I've got it connected 3.0 Bluetooth for making receiving phone calls and playing music through the watch. And 4.0 can work, I guess, back and forth to the app with it being tethered. Do not disturb. Your overall settings are right here that you can get into, which are pretty basic. Hello. There we go. Uh, auto sync for the language. Interesting. Okay, you saw all the languages. You can set your clock here, or of course it can tether to your phone's time when you uh, hook it up there. You've got your overall sound, vibration, ringtones, that stuff, and then volume. Uh, generally like to try to put these on all the way up six. There you go. You hear that? That's the sound of the speakers, notifications. Okay, and in uh, your overall display, we have the capability of changing the brightness. Full bright, look how bright that green is down there, and all the way down, level one is about right here. So for the video, wow, level one was almost enough. I'll put it right there. And session timeout can be as low as five section, seconds and as high as, wow, all right, let's go for 60 seconds. That'll eat the battery up a lot, but it's going to keep it on for us uh, for doing the review. About shows you the name you look for when you're tethering it. Two ways of tethering to the actual Bluetooth of your phone for doing the calling and, and whatnot. And then the second way is tethering to the app. Okay, that all came from settings, find your phone and that kind of stuff. There's brightness, here's lock, and of course your time and everything. You got all of that by swiping down, swiping up. Here you go into your app drawers. You've got overall health, where you have a pedometer, heart rate, and blood pressure listed. Okay, then you got your sports mode for all the different functions from indoor running and outdoor running. And by the way, got GPS in here with uh, Baidao and GLONASS. And from the app, you can download the updated satellite positions to make it so you can acquire this a lot faster. Marathons, walking, sprinting, yogas in here, football, basketball. And if you have any records, they'll show up right here as well. That's all in sports. Then you've got your contacts and dialer for making calls, your call logs and notifications, all tied to the Bluetooth link for calling. There's settings again, and here's Bluetooth for setup. Then you got a music player. Your basic calendar is right here showing you your monthly stuff. Uh, a relax app that lets you breathe in and breathe out for one or three minutes if you want to. Setting alarms is there. Sedentary reminder, of course, to find your phone, which should make it beep, which it's doing. Okay. Remote capture so that you can use this as a button to trigger calling uh, photographs from your, your phone. Here's uh, you, the overall barometric pressure, not blood pressure, and 
it's been going today up until right here. Uh, and there's its chart. We'll show you that and we cycle through the other part of it. We've got altitude display as well, which is pretty close to accurate where I am right now. And you can have it in feet or uh, meters if you want to. You've got the compass on board here too. And after you calibrate it, you can twist it around. And I am at, hmm, due north is this way here. Let me, let me do the old arm twist thing that you're supposed to do for calibration. And let's look at it again. Getting better, but still I wouldn't fly a plane by this right now. It may be it just needs some calibration uh, a little bit longer than what I'm doing, but it is a built-in compass. Generally, if it's really out of calibration, it'll give you that figure eight thing that you're supposed to use to, to do that. You got a countdown timer in here in your tools. You've also got a basic stopwatch. And you've got uh, motion. When you touch this, you can change to twist your wrist to see the time, which is great to have, of course. Background theme, see the blue going on in the background? You can change these to different themes if you want to. A few of those are selected. And here's how you invoke uh, Siri or your Google Assistant. When you're tethered to the phone, you tap that. You have a microphone and speaker in here so you can interact and get results spoken to you back here on the watch. And then your overall weather in your area, it's showing you your... Um, temperature and whatnot in Fahrenheit or centigrade, depending on what units you have set up in the device. And then we loop back to the very beginning. So to give you an idea of heart rate, this is a chart that you get. I had it set up uh, over here before I set the time on the watch and then it adjusted the time. And so it's beginning to make a chart showing my heart rate versus time in a 24 hour period. And that's what you get from uh, there. And then your blood pressure is a one-off reading. You have to start it, let it measure it. Wow, that was quick and probably a little low for me, but it's doing it. Maybe it's doing it now. That was the last reading it, it held on to. Anyway, it does its reading and then um, records that for you, I presume, and you can transfer it to the app, but it is not doing continuous uh, blood pressure. There we go. It went to 108 and I can stop that. It says I'm normal, so that's a good thing. Again, on all of these, don't trust the blood pressure unless you actually test it with a cuff. I think we covered everything there, so what's left is circling around this way or that way. If I go this way, there's that heart rate chart we already saw. Here's the QR code to download Smart Time Pro. There is an app called Smart Time. It won't work with this. You got to get Smart Time Pro. Uh, here's your barometric pressure. We saw that chart. There's the altitude chart right there. Once you've had it a couple of days and it's had a chance to adjust and calibrate everything and you'll have your charts developing regularly, uh, you get a better idea. There's the compass thing again. And one more time takes you to the music player. Now this is tethered to the phone. I happen to have it set up with um, uh, tune-in radio, right? Where you can play all different radio stations. And if I hit play, when it was only you hear it? Gas. Oh, come on. The most important thing, there we the most go. important single change that our country could make fast would be for that change to happen. Oh, I love that. That. The only most important thing that we could do would be for that change to happen. Wonderful. You can change the volume right here. And this is what's cool is you can touch that and toggle it back to your phone so it'll speak out of your phone instead of your watch. Tap it again. It'll switch back and speak out of your watch. Really, really sweet. That's how that works. And it gives you an idea of how phone calling would work, which I'm not going to set all up today. But uh, I've tried it with Mrs. Tix, and it works great. She can hear me. I can hear her. And uh, all in all, it's working fine. So then you get your step count, and then you're back to your watch faces. This is one of them custom from the app. I'll show you that in just a moment. In the meantime, let's look at some of the others. There's one that I think you saw at the very beginning. Uh, here's another one. Kind of a busy one. Let's bring it up so you see it full. There's a lot of stuff going on there, showing you your heart rate, your step count, and calories burned with the time. So you have a few varieties here, a nice digital one. Here's another analog one. There's a, a, a very busy digital one with bigger digits showing you everything, date, all that. 
temperature even down at the bottom. You saw that, a colorful one, another one here, and another uh, digital one. So you got quite a few and uh, a few more in the app. So let's look at that. We're in the device uh, section of the uh, Smart Time Pro app where you hit watch faces. And here you go. You've got quite a few. Any of these that you choose, that's the one I had, uh, we just showed you, you can sync over. Some of them look familiar to the ones that are already in the watch. I'm pretty sure you can sync one and only one of these uh, in addition to the stock ones that come with it. But a good selection overall. And you have custom dial. As it says here, you can set up your own background image and mess around with the display of time. You can pick these different backgrounds, different types of digital uh, displays, and then sync it over once you've designed your own custom dial or the online watches. It's pretty quick in its transfer and works really well. In here are all the things that you can do related to the device itself. You can have the backlight, which we just changed to 60 seconds, heart rate on, music control, which, uh, which thing you're going to be playing on your phone that control the music of and I really like tune in radio and the integration with that that's great there's that a GPS update for updating the satellite information for the GPS on a thing uh, this is you you put in your image if you want to your initials or whatever you want uh, goals that you can set up switching themes permissions all of that and then your actual picture shows you your step count against your goal the temperature um, other information, there's the heart rate chart, your blood pressure mem uh, measurement, last night's sleep time, and you can enter weight and monitor the changing of your weight. And, of course, you can rearrange these tabs as well. And all that's in the app. And the watch itself, called the M7 GPS, positioning, compass, altimeter, barometer, you name it, with Bluetooth calling, pretty much got a lot. Uh, it's available from Banggood, so check our show notes uh, down below. We have a link, I'm sure, for you to pick it up at a little bit better price. Otherwise, uh, $56, that's still a decent price for everything this thing can do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.